Well, I wanted to show you the Atlantic because there's no activity there, uh, finally, for a change. Haven't seen this much this season. No forecast activity uh, as far as tropical storms uh, and uh, tropical weather here for the next 48 hours from the Hurricane Center. And we are heading towards the end of that season, so hopefully it stays that way. Uh, we do have some patches of clouds over Minnesota and the Dakotas to get through today, uh, kind of in and out of the sun. We've got one patch over us now. Uh, and then we'll probably burn through that. I think we'll see some midday and afternoon sunshine again, but you can see there are still a few patches of clouds to the north. So not totally clear today, obviously, but uh, I don't think we're going to stay completely overcast all day either. In fact, high pressure is building in for the next 24, 36 hours. So that's going to be just to our south. Tomorrow means sunshine for your Saturday, but uh, wind switching back out of the south, pushing in some warmer air again and some moisture here as we head into Sunday. We've got two shots of moisture here in the forecast, uh, starting as probably a rain snow mix. Now I'm showing you the European model first. That's a little colder and it's going to be that way for both systems Sunday and Tuesday. And that means the European model is leaning towards more snow than rain. Uh, but as we look at the American model, it's a little bit warmer uh, in the atmosphere overhead, and that is uh, giving us more in the way of rainfall. So Sunday snowfall amounts probably are going to be a little bit more to the north, but I wanted to show you the two different scenarios play out. Here's uh, the American model, again, giving us that shot of rain snow mix, but mainly rain perhaps for the metro area, a little lighter on the snowfall totals. Uh, and uh, you're going to see that reflected here in the forecast snowfall total. So the American model, again, keeps most of the accumulating snow just to our north into western Wisconsin as well. But uh, the European model, because it is colder and does keep us mostly snow Sunday morning, gives us a little bit more snow. Still more to the north, though, where we're talking a couple of inches for places like maybe Cambridge up through towards Duluth, let's say. Uh, and then maybe a slushy coating here in the metro area. So we'll have to see if it uh, leans more towards the cold side. I do think it's probably going to be more of a rain snow mix. Again, that's mostly in the morning hours on Sunday. And then similar scenario here with the Tuesday system. European model gives us a little more snow because it's a little colder, but both models switch us back over to rain late in the day. So we're going to be riding the edge of warm air here for both of these systems. Here's the American model, though, maybe a mix to start and then turning over to rain for much of the day Tuesday. It's a little warmer. It has us uh, maybe up closer to 40 degrees and it's harder to get that snow to accumulate uh, at those temperatures. So uh, American model, not as much snowfall here for the Tuesday system. Again, mostly to the north and east where it'll be colder. European model, though, you'll see is much more spread out with the snow because it's colder. It has snow all the way down into northern Iowa through the Twin Cities up the North Shore, but still about two to three inches is what it gives us. So not a huge snowmaker for any of us. Uh, but again, will it be more towards that colder, snowier mix or towards the warmer, more rain mix here for Tuesday? That's what we're going to be watching for that system that has a little more moisture to it than the Sunday system. And all next week is going to be uh, relatively mild. Of course, the high temperatures, the average high temperatures are dropping right now into the 30s. So these five to 10 degree above normal temperatures looks warm, but that means low 40s. But hey, we'll take that. It's better than being five to 10 degrees below normal. So next week we continue that mild trend that we've had here. Probably not 50s, but I do think most of next week will be in the 40s for us. And again, those major precip chances Sunday and Tuesday. Uh, Sunday morning primarily could see a slushy coating of snow. And then Tuesday maybe a better chance of accumulating snow, but still some question marks on if it's going to be mostly rain or mostly snow.